Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com. Today we're going to make homemade mincemeat. This is really quite easy to make. Actually, most of the work is just measuring out all these delicious ingredients. So, what we need is a Dutch oven or some type of large pot, and then all we're gonna do is really just put all of these ingredients in the pot. So to start, this is a vegetarian mincemeat. By that I mean we are not using beef suet. So to get a little fat, we're going to use four tablespoons, 55 grams of butter. You can use either salted or unsalted, whatever you like. And then to sweeten it, we're going to add two thirds of a cup, 140 grams of packed dark brown sugar. Now, if you didn't have uh, dark brown sugar, you could use light. And we're going to add one cup, 240 milliliters of unsweetened apple juice. If you only had sweetened apple juice, I would then cut back on that brown sugar. And then for all of our fruit, uh, there's a lot of ingredients here and a lot of measurements, so um, I think I remember it all, but the recipe is on the site, don't forget that. So um, I'm going to add some spices. One half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. This is a nutmeg, and you just use like a grater to grate it. A quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Of course, you can always adjust that to your liking. And then you will need two large apples. Size is not that important, so don't worry about it. And what type of apples? Well, you could use like a Braeburn, a Honeycrisp, a John Gold, Delicious, Granny Smith you know, whatever you have, and then just peel them, core them, and then grate them. And I just use one of these box graters. And don't worry if it turns a little brown as you're getting everything ready because, as you know, mincemeat is kind of brown in color, so it's not that critical. So I'll just dump that in there. Put that up a bit. Okay. And then you will need, I'm using an orange. I'm using the zest of an orange. You could use a lemon if you would prefer that. Just add a little extra flavor. Or you could add both if you wanted. You can really kind of uh, adjust this recipe. It's, you know, it's not too critical exact amounts. And then, I don't want to waste the uh, juice, so might as well squeeze that in there too. I'm using the clementine. They're available around the Christmas season, which is typically when we make mincemeat. Okay that and then for our dried fruit we have lots here we have a half a cup 90 grams of both the dark and the golden uh, raisins a uh, half a cup 70 grams of currants and a half a cup 75 grams of either like dried cranberries or cherries and then a half a cup 100 grams of I use the dried figs just cut up and three quarters of a cup, 120 grams of candied mixed peel, and a half a cup of the candied red cherries, or you can use green, and just chop those up. So, let's see if I can, I'm spilling it here, dump all this in. Okay. And last, of course, as you know, mincemeat has a boozy flavor, so we need to add some alcohol. I'm using rum. You can either use dark or I'm using the light, because that's what I have. And 
Also some brandy, cognac. I'm, I'm adding a third of a cup of each. That's 80 milliliters. Again, you could, if you don't want to use both, you could use all of one or you can add more or less. Now, uh, the question will be, can I leave out the alcohol? Well, just keep in mind, it's not going to really taste like mincemeat without the alcohol, but you could. But the thing is, too, if you don't use the alcohol, alcohol acts as a preservative. So your mincemeat will not be able to be stored as long. And keep in mind that because we are cooking this, so the alcohol is going to evaporate and all you're left with is the flavor. So now what I'm going to do is put this on like medium high heat and I'm just going to stir it a bit and bring it to a boil. Now there is a lot of mincemeat recipes that don't do it this way. They don't use butter and they don't use the apple juice and actually they don't cook it. What um, you do is just kind of stir everything together and can it and let it age on its own. And you know, that can take several weeks for the alcohol to kind of absorb into all the fruit and soften it and flavor it. So that, what I love about this recipe is you cook it for a while and kind of the apple juice and the alcohol kind of, as we're cooking it or stewing it, gets absorbed into the fruit. And so, you know, this is ready the next day. So for us last minute bakers, perfect recipe. So I'm just going to stir this every once in a while and bring it up to a boil. Okay, as you can see now, it's starting to come up to a boil. And the butter's melted and all that. So I'm going to just cut down the heat to, you know, lower it a bit. You want it a nice simmer. And then we're just going to let this stew away, bubble away, until most of the uh, liquid ha has been absorbed and evaporated, absorbed into all the uh, fruit. And that will take somewhere around a half hour, depending on the level of your heat. And just every once in a while, give it a good stir. So it's now been about a half hour, and this is about done. You can see it's quite thick. Most of the liquid has evaporated. So just take it off the heat and I'm going to pour it in here so you can see. So essentially we're done. This is our mincemeat. Now we're going to have to let it cool and then more of the, those juices will be absorbed into the mincemeat. Now, I didn't use that much alcohol. And as you know, if you've ever bought mincemeat, it can really vary in the flavor. So what I tend to like to do is add, you know, somewhere between two and four tablespoons, like up to a quarter of a cup, 60 milliliters. And then as it's um, sitting, that alcohol will be absorbed into the mincemeat. But like I said, you could not bother doing that. Smells so wonderful. So there, I'm going to let that cool completely. And then you put it in some type of covered container. And you can store this in the refrigerator for up to a month. But like I said, you could use it the next day. And just give it a good stir, you know, every so many days. I'm just going to taste this. Oh, yes, that's very nice. All those fruits. Now you might notice it dries out a little bit. Um, so what I do is kind of like a fruit cake. I just kind of feed it with a bit of alcohol every once in a while and stir it in. Or if you don't want to, like if you taste it and go, that is enough alcohol flavor, you could just put in, if you found it a little too dry, you could put in like a little apple juice, orange juice, something like that. Don't feel you have to add more alcohol. So there. Now, of course, mincemeat tarts, you can make this. There's quite a few different recipes on the site that use mincemeat. But you know what? It is really nice just on its own or like over ice cream. So enjoy.
And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com. Thank you.